Welcome back, Frankenstein C20 here today. So, it's been a minute since I've been back on this truck. Uh, well, I've been working on the house, trying to get it all finished, painted up, before we get to the no-name nationals. So, I've been off work for a couple weeks, and that's what I've been doing, is, is getting the house painted. And uh, we'll show you that here in a minute. But today and yesterday, I've kind of been working on this truck a little bit, tying up a few loose ends. I uh, replaced the dimmer switch for the headlights yesterday. Uh, you know, basically brand new switch and it just kind of fell apart. Fell apart in pieces actually when I uh, unplugged it. So, yeah. So I had to get a new one of them. It's like uh, 20 bucks at uh, Napa. Yeah. 20 bucks at Napa so that was uh, the deal there got that installed yesterday that was uh, not too bad pretty easy actually so but yeah it just kind of fell apart when I unplugged it so there you go brand new switch and uh, so I've got the dome light situation on a roll I'm getting ready to pop in the switch there I, uh, I'm putting in these little <clears throat> little switches right here for my dome lights, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's a lot nicer than a toggle switch. So, and they light up, nice pretty blue, and match the truck. So that's cool. And uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and get this stripped down. This actually goes up underneath the dash. And it bolts up underneath the dash like this. More like that. So, anyway, I got in a hurry when I painted it, so I'm going to put the old paint stripper to it, get it sanded down, primed, and reshoot it for real this time. So that'll be done. See, this is the other side, which I've got to do. It goes on the other side of the steering wheel, you see. And that's where the steering wheel goes. So, but yeah, that's what's up today. I'm going to finish that, and then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, plug this hole here for the gas tank that I never got around to, but that's just going to be a quick fix today. Um, I've actually got the stamped piece of metal that's to weld in there, but that's not happening today. I have no wire from a wire welder, and uh, so, but we're going to show you what we're going to do with that. And of course, you know, I've got the right color here, good old Rust-Oleum Cobalt Metallic Blue. So, we'll blend that in. And that's going to be about it. And then I'm going to get back on this house this weekend to try and get the back done. So, yeah, with that being said, let me uh, kind of show you the paint job here of the house that I've been uh, working on. So, anyway, you can see here, let's check it out. The sun's really bright this morning. So, anyway, yeah, I got... Actually, what I did is I got the side done. I got the front done. Still got to redo the door again, the front door. And gonna have to get two or three more coats on my railings here. They were white, but I went ahead and them, did them the dark gray. And then uh, trimmed it out. And that's pretty well what I've been working on, getting this thing painted and everything. So yeah, you go down here with, with the terracotta porch there, the yellow door, gray, gray, gray. And uh, went ahead and did the uh, steps in the dark gray. 
then it comes around that band board there and then it comes to over here to the wraparound step so got that in and I've got one more window there to trim out and uh, the three sides will be done then I can go ahead and do the back which won't be bad I've got more deck space back there than anything so yeah and there's the tomato plant that's just one plant so that one's doing pretty good for one plant and then we got the moon bush over here so that's a pretty good sized plant so yeah I've got to actually finish the deck here so I stopped painting right about here somewhere I think it's right there where I stopped finish that and uh, that's gonna be about it so <clears throat> and then back to the truck here that's what we're gonna do all right so here we go temporary patch so I'm a professional so don't try this at home all we're looking to do is keep a little rain out of this so that's all we're looking to do Then, once I get to a point where I can take some time, get me a spool of wire, and uh, put in the plate. I've got the, the circle plate for it, so. And there again, this is just to keep water out for right now. So, because it's been raining here, raining pretty good. So, and then we're going to give it a little splash of paint. Just like that, kind of hard to see. Huh. All right, so I got the interior lights going and I'm gonna wait till this evening when it gets dark to take a picture and kind of give you a shot like this. But in the meantime, back to this. So as you can see, a little bit of body work earlier looks pretty good not bad it's just meant to keep out the rain right now but you know what if i die tomorrow that is awesome <laughs> you know i like it so hey it is what it is it's a rat ride and so while i'm here i'm gonna go ahead i need to adjust my fender i need to pull it forward a little bit the last time i had it up on the jack stands Everything kind of got twisted a little bit and my fender got pushed back and I'm getting pinch point right about there. So if you can see, right there, it's grinding just a little bit. So with that being said, I'm going to take off this and uh, loosen my bolts up and try and get this slid forward a little bit. Now, with that being said, let me grab this and show you what we got going on here. 
So, yeah. All right, so yeah, as you can see, a little bit of redneck body work there earlier. Hey, I'm satisfied. So, now, as you can see, right here, we've got our, our bolts across the top here. All right, now, and if you look real close, that bolt right there, right there, I'm gonna have to take out because what it's doing is it's cutting into my tire like right there if you can see that little bit of a groove that's from that bolt right there so I gotta get a little bit smaller tires on here for when I hit the bumps but for now I'm just gonna completely take that bolt out all right everybody so I'm kind of having to jump through these kind of quick because uh, I'm running out of time on my recording on my phone here so anyway I got the bolt out I got these loosened up here and uh, everything's loosened up and it looks like my door is clearing very well now no clanking so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna get everything cleaned up and I'm gonna get this all buttoned up and move this way just a little bit more just make sure she's gonna stay for me and I'm gonna clean that up with a little sandpaper hit it with the old spray bomb and uh, put it back together man and uh so that one's gonna be about it for today guys uh, like I said been busy with the house so but yeah so stay tuned next week I got some uh, some things coming in we're gonna do to the truck I'm gonna put that front sway bar in the front there gonna get that installed I'm waiting on the brackets for that that should be in probably around the holiday and we're gonna get uh, oh, I got another surprise so something to get us down to the finish line a little bit faster so that's gonna be probably in August 1st of September and uh, we're just gonna keep plugging away guys we're gonna give it a little bit of more of a tune-up we're uh, Got a few odds and ends things to do here, but yeah, we are basically, we are ready for No Name Nationals this year, so. All right, so here we go. Got a little bit of paint going on here. Covered up a few dents and dings, whatnot. Got it all looking good. So yeah, I'll take it and wet sand it in a little bit, a couple weeks. Let it cure out a little bit, blend it in. That's the beautiful thing about the spray bombs, man. So anyway, yeah, that's it. Just wanted to wrap this video up here. That's where I'm gonna leave it today. Tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and strip down my dash parts so I get them painted over the weekend. Get them in next week. And then like I said, next week, look forward, we're gonna go ahead and get our uh, brackets in for our front sway bar I'm gonna get that in I'm gonna have to start hunting for smaller tires on the front so I left out this middle bolt here so there we go that won't be cutting into my tire anymore so yeah anyway guys with that being said I'm gonna get off here stay tuned we got a few more things to do to this truck uh, before we hit the no name nationals so all right everybody thanks for watching Frankenstein out